tell me um, whenever you first kind of noticed maybe your body image, like at a young age, did you ever have an age where you kind of just first yeah, was aware of things? Definitely. I like it all started in such like weird stages because when I was younger. I was really just like lanky and like short. I didn't really sprout just yet. And I'll never never forget my sixth grade boyfriend at the time. He told me that no one likes a string bean. Ah. You know, that was really lanky and nobody likes a string bean. And he actually dumped me, cheated on me and dumped me for like a curvier girl around that time. Oh, wow. But I'm just like, I'm, I'm 12 years old. What? Yeah, you haven't even developed yet. <laughs> exactly. And then. From being lanky, when I started to get my woman body in like mid eighth grade to freshman year of high school, people thought I was just looking for attention because my body had finally developed, but my clothing didn't change because I didn't realize my body was changing. I was still wearing stuff that I wore in eighth grade. Like it wasn't a big You're deal. You're still a kid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then from from being curvy turned into being fat when my junior and senior year when I played volleyball and my um, eating had changed. I was actually dieting. I was eating well, but I was I was taking protein shakes with my meal instead of replacing them because I didn't know what I was doing. There was nobody there to tell me how yeah. to do this. So I actually started to gain a little to like a lot of weight and you know nobody really like looked at me anymore or like said anything to me. But um being the person I was, you know, I still had the same personality that I have now. So in a way, nobody really noticed me changing. They still just saw me like as I am. Yeah. But there's a good part of people that like, even though knowing who I was, that still like my outer shell just wasn't good enough anymore. Yeah. Like when my uh, like uncles, you felt people treat you differently. Like, yeah, like, as your body changed, people changed with it. exactly like. Uh, Especially when my uncle told me that I was a donut away from being fat, like that yeah. really hurt because I'm just like, that's my family, and you know, like, he's actually like one of my favorite uncles, so I was just like, And he wow. meant it as like a bad thing, like yeah. it was going to be bad. And that's another thing too, like with <clears throat> growing up, I wasn't taught acceptance, I was always taught like change, that, <clears throat> that everything about me, or that I was going through, instead of like accepting it as it's okay, there's nothing wrong with this, to no, you're too lanky, you're too curvy, oh now you're fat, now you're scary skinny, now you're too athletic, like. So there's like, what do I even do? Like there's nothing's good enough. Yeah, and it's just like, uh, it's such. <sighs> really stressful. Stressful and traumatizing and just like, Fuck. <laughs> like, what do you do? And then I think it was still freshman year. It might have been sophomore year when we had to like write down like what do we want to do when we grow up or whatever. And at the time in high school, you know, I still had like big crazy hair. I didn't really start wearing it out till my sophomore year because yeah. from like eighth grade and ninth grade, I just had it like pulled back in a ponytail. Yeah. And I remember right now, like I wanted to be a natural hair model, like when I grew up at the time because. I, don't know, I was just really That's into beautiful. it, but yeah, but somebody grabbed my paper one day and like read it. And I was just like, you can never be a model. What are you talking about? Like, I don't think you're fit to ever model. How and old were you? I think I was fifteen. And uh, yeah, I think after that I was just like, oh, okay, I don't think I'll be a veterinarian now <laughs> 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 or something. And it, I don't know, it just. It hits me in a way because, like, with the person I am, I like I try to be a good person throughout everything. I try to be a really good friend. I try to be a really good stranger, and like people get that. That's one thing. If anybody asks, like, who is Jazz? That's something that they say. So like, for people to say certain things like that that know me, it's just like, but you know me. Yeah. So how come? How are you letting? something physical or an aspiration of a dream or anything like that overcome what I presented myself to you. Yeah. They're so, sad and they need this project more than anyone. Uh, after my, uh, after when I graduated uh, high school, I was still 
a bit uh, too curvy. I was actually, when I got my first job at Hollister, a uh, customer told me I was too curvy to work at Hollister. Wow. And that was kind of like the nail on the hand right there. Because now I got strangers walking up to me telling me that how I look isn't okay. And I guess people don't really think about what they're really like saying to somebody. And then like at the time, I'm just 18, I'm fresh out of high school, I have this older woman telling me that I'm not good to work somewhere. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm trying not to get emotional. You can get emotional. I'm uh, the youngest of four, I have three older brothers. My mom, she worked two nursing jobs like ever since I was born or even before I was born so she wasn't really there. And uh, my dad, he was, I mean, he was mostly there. You know, he had to work too and like did stuff with the boys, but they were still just like me, like in my room trying to figure out how I'm supposed to be or how I'm supposed to look or yeah. what everyone else gonna be okay with so I can be okay. And that was like the most like absurd thought process. That's you so don't have pressure. to. Yeah, like you don't have to please other people before yourself, you know? So from then on, <clears throat> after that, um, I actually did at first start in a positive way with just like going to the gym and like finally learning a, a good diet, but I did develop <clears throat> an eating disorder like within the same time frame. So it's like I was being, um, I think I was still like 18 or 19. Yeah. I think 18 still. It started at 18. It didn't uh, end until I was, well, I don't know, I'm 24. Probably 22. So just recently you kind of gotten. Yeah. Ever yeah. since then, uh, yeah. Two years, maybe a year ago. I think until 23. Let's just say 23. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was, uh, I was bulimic actually for quite some time, but it wasn't, at, it didn't start off bad until. I was finally getting to a shape to where I was kind of comfortable with, but more so other people were comfortable with. I wasn't getting negative comments anymore. People weren't looking at how big I was. They were praising me for like losing weight and like looking good and having myself together. And I got more attention from guys and like everything started to seem like, okay, this is, this is what's so. good. Yeah, this is what's good now. This is acceptable. But then it turned to where I was getting scary skinny from overly working out and still having a bulimic mindset and like eating. Oh and um, then it turned from like, oh, you look so good. You lost so much weight and you're, you look skinny. You're skinny. But now it's just like, dad, you're scary skinny. Like you need to eat or you're losing your figure. Or you're losing this. I'm just like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Like, what do you want from me? Exactly. Yeah. And it just, at that point, it just seemed like nothing was ever going to be good enough. That it's always going to be something that someone's going to have a problem with. And it really wasn't until, honestly, I hate for it to be cliche. It wasn't until, well, actually, it's not even cliche. I just woke up one day and I was looking in the mirror and I just like took off all my clothes and I just started taking pictures. I took pictures of everything that I had an issue with, like my eyes, my nose, my fucking elbows, <laughs> my thighs and my boobs and my butt. And I just sat there for at least 15 minutes and I looked at everything and I was like, there's nothing wrong right now. There's nothing wrong right now. Like the only thing that's the issue is that I have an eating disorder now. Yeah. Besides the body images and even the past body images that I have, like those are okay because I can make them okay. Yeah. So it wasn't until then that I started to try to appreciate myself more and really like learn to accept the things that I couldn't change and learn to love the things that I was already blessed with. Or even love the things that I could change, but I could only change them on my time and not somebody else's time or somebody telling me that it's wrong. So, <clears throat> so then I really only had the um, issue to detect my 
eating disorder. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until my boyfriend at the time, John, that uh, kind of helped me in the way, but didn't help me. We were, um, we went out to eat one day, and as soon as we got done eating, I just felt so bad, and I just couldn't even hold it in anymore. I just went to the bathroom, I was in the bathroom for 15 minutes. At the restaurant? Yeah. And he thought, and I came back out, and he thought I just like took a long poop or whatever. <laughs> but, and at that time, I thought too, it was just like, am I going to lie to him about this, or am I going to finally be open about this to someone? Because I've never told anyone I had an eating yeah. disorder. And I told him. I just fucking just threw it out there and just like waited for anything to happen. And for the first time, instead of him telling me, you know, what people would say, you know, this is wrong, you're killing yourself, you're hurting yourself, you need to change this, you need to change that. He told me, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you what other people would tell you in the sense. What I'm going to tell you is only you can change this, and you can change this when you're ready, when you've had enough of it. Wow. And he got up and walked out and said he'd wait for me in the car. And I just stood, I just sat there in like shock. Like, yeah. holy shit, like, first of all, he's not, like, completely put off by me because I don't even think we were dating at the time. So to open up to somebody that you're kind of talking to and, like, him still being okay with it was, like, yeah. a big fucking well, he's thing. He's a keeper. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I just sat there and I was just like, God damn it. That's powerful. Yeah. And I'm getting chills right now. <laughs> it's like, like, having you talk about it. No, literally, like, I'll never forget that day. Like, I haven't, yeah, I haven't had an episode ever since then. Wow. She told me that what's going on is okay, but if I needed to change it, if I wanted to change something within myself, that I just have to do it. I don't have to have other people tell me to change. And that's why I think with uh, this body positivity movement, it's like learning how to accept all body types. Yeah. Because whether you're lanky or curvy or fat or anything. skinny or athletic, anything. Mm -hmm. If you can accept that image, that's completely fine because there's nothing wrong with it. There's no wrong way to have a body. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to change it on your own, then that's when they cheat. But don't do it because somebody else tells you to. Yeah. And even now, like, I mean, I, I play rugby. Yeah. My body has changed into more an athletic body. And people tell me that, you know, I'm getting too big, I'm getting too buff, I'm too athletic, or my thighs are getting too big, and even now, I'm just like, I don't give a fuck what you're <laughs> saying about my body right now, I don't, like, I play rugby, my thighs are going to get big, yeah. my arms are going to get big, you're brick and, it's, outs. Like, and, it's, and it's fine, like, yeah. if you have a problem with me being athletic, that's not my fuck fucking off. problem anymore, Yeah. like, I'm not changing a single thing for somebody else. <laughs> And even be able to look at other people and think the same too, because like with that mindset I had at such a young age, just being 12 and, and going from 12 to freaking 19, seven years of just change and change and all of these obstacles and even like having that kind of mindset and projecting it on like my friends or like just other strangers, like thinking there's always something to change. And it's awful. Yeah. It's awful. And I, yeah. I never want to think like that again because like now I look at people and it's like fuck like they're awesome like they're beautiful like everything anything like it's okay like whether you want to if it's your body or your hair your fashion your anything your makeup anything it, it's okay because that's what you want and it's okay yeah you don't have to change it that's so beautiful that's why I wish like with this whole project and movement like if I had this when I was 12, like, things would have went so much better for me, but well, even with all the shit that I've been through, I wouldn't change it now because I'm good now. Like You're in a place now? Yeah. Do you feel like it's still a daily thing? Like, you kind of, some days you just have to be like, you know what, you gotta remind yourself. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. Like, there's my times where I'm just like, uh, like, or if I'm, like, bloated and I feel like something's off, or, like, sometimes I, I do still have like my thing about my thighs but so I think honestly it's probably like an every other day kind of thing yeah. I'm mostly mostly good throughout the day with my body yeah and uh because I've, I've come a long way to have this and 
for me to like backtrack into mm-hmm. what I've been through, like I, I don't even want to think about it. So mm-hmm. I try to push on every day, like this is good, I look good, and that's all that matters. And I'm ha- I'm 98% happy with myself. There's always that 2% that creeps in, but it's not going to overcome my yeah. 98% of all that I've been through and all that I try to do. So. Yeah. <laughs> It's just so great to like look now because look at myself and just be able to be like, okay, this is good today. This is gonna be good every other day. <laughs> like we can we can sail on now.